1950s cabin, Oliver and Henry are here to help me tell you about the buzzsaw. This is a toy that the early settlers would have played with in the 1800s. It'll build your muscles and it'll wear your arms out, but it's a lot of fun and we're going to show you how to make your own out of a button and a string. So the buzzsaw is like this, so you wind it up. And I'm going to give you this one, Oliver. You wind it up, and then I'm going to let you drop that one. I'm going to let Oliver put his hands on the sticks, and I'm going to let go. He's going to concentrate. It also teaches concentration, because you got to concentrate. Let me get it started, and then I'm going to let you concentrate and keep it going, okay? Oliver just learned how to do this one. They put your hands on the stick. He told me he didn't know how, but he's really concentrating now, paying attention, watching it go in and out, and he can do it. It looks easier than it is, takes concentration, and is it making your arms tired? Mm -mm. No, he's already getting stronger because it's building his muscles up. And Henry can do it too. Henry can do it with his eyes closed. Henry can do it behind his back. It's kind of like riding a bicycle. Once you get this one figured out, it's hard not to do it. All right, so we showed you a little bit about playing with the bus saw. I'm gonna give you a little bit of background and talk about it a little bit more. So this is a bus saw. Some people call it a button on a string. This is a toy that um, people have made way back something you can make on your own. We're going to show you how to make a button on a string. Um, so you wind it up like this. That's how I wind it up. And then you pull it apart. And you can tell you're really using your bicep muscles here. And I can feel I'm using the muscles in my back. So this is a good toy to build up my muscles and um, so that I can then go out and chop wood or milk cows or lift things, whatever I had to do on the farm. You hear it? Makes this buzzing sound. One reason it's called a buzz saw. The other reason you can kind of see how it's, it looks like this is a saw blade in a table saw. And as it's spinning around, it would be cutting the wood into pieces of lumber. You have to have um, a good rhythm. It looks very easy. It's kind of like riding a bike. Riding a bike when you first learned how to ride a bike was a little difficult. You probably fell a couple of times. Now that you know how to ride a bike, or once you learn how to ride the bike, it's hard to fall. It's hard to make yourself fall. It's hard for me to make this bus all stop. But if you don't know how, it's hard to make it work. The hardest part is to get it started because you, you have to wind it. And then that very first part, you have to know when to pull it back out. I mean, no matter how, I can like really go in and out and it's hard for me to make it not work. But if you don't know how to do it, then you just kind of, want to hold it or you want to push it or help it and you never push it you always pull and that's why my shoulders are getting really tired it's kind of like being on a swing and winding your swing up and then it's going to unwind so that's what's happening here with the buzz saw it winds up and then it unwinds so now we're going to teach you how to make your own button on a string or buzz saw. Tools that you need. A string. I think mine's about two feet long. A pair of scissors if you needed to cut your string off of the spool. That's all you need the scissors for. I need a pin to stick my string through my, the holes of my button. Main thing that you need is a button. So you can use a button with two holes or four holes. You cannot use the button that has a shank or a loop on the end because that won't work. Um, you want a button that's got a little weight to it. 
but most any button will do if it has those requirements. <laughs> so then you need to, to run your string through your button. Ah, that one went through really well. <laughs> and then I'm just going to run it back through the other side. If you can't, if you can't get it through, you could take the pen and poke it, but hey, that worked really well that time. <laughs> All right, so then I'm just going to take my two ends and I'm going to tie a knot to tie them together. Just like that. I'm gonna cut that extra little bit off. And I've got a button on a string. I'm gonna pull this in through here. So I've got my button kind of in the middle, get in the middle, and then I'm going to wind it up and pull. Now I don't know if you can see it, but my button is spinning around, gets to the end, and then I spin it back around. Be really careful if you do it this way because it'll squeeze your fingers pretty tightly. I guess you could put a stick in there. That's how ours are made. They've got a little stick. And then you, another thing you could do is you could hold it like this. So don't cut the circulation off your fingers. But it's very relaxing. It just goes round and round. This one doesn't use your muscles quite as much as the buzzsaw. But it's a little, it gets a little tiring. <laughs> it's using my muscles. So have fun making your own button on a string.